happy reveal night, everybody. And we are so excited because we are doing one of my favorite themes and that is a floral with a garden inspired theme to it. Beautiful greens, which is one of my favorite colors. And it's just got me all excited and ready for spring and warmer weather and to get rid of all this nasty blah winter stuff. So let's dig in. I'm going to show you the From the Garden collection. We've got some fun things in there. We've got some new things in there. Uh, make sure you check out Mr. Daisy's Cocktail this month, which is very, very tasty. So check that out, check out the unboxings, and make sure you join us for our live chat tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can find us either in our on our fan page on Facebook. We will be live from there as well as the Coco Daisy Instagram feed. So we can chat about whatever you want to chat about, talk about the collection, talk about just life, where who knows <laughs> where things are gonna go. So please join us for that. And as always, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love when you leave comments. Let me know what you like, what you're enjoying, what you'd like to see. Um, let me know your spring plans. I'd like to know that too. So uh, let me know how everything is going with you guys. Please join us through the chat. We really have a lot of fun getting to know you better and uh, doing that. But let's go right to the cocktail and then the unboxing. <laughs> to the lost bunker once again it is it is your cocktail recipe for the month um what are we making today we are making a kiwi cucumber gimlet and it really it's, the inspiration really was the color yes um, we wanted the the name of the collection for this month is from the garden and there is a lot of green involved lots of pretty greens lots of pretty greens we wanted something fresh and bright and this kind of covers everything so yeah this is this is there's a little bit more prep work that you have to do with this so you have to make a simple syrup kiwi simple syrup so you have to have at least four preferably mm -hmm. five kiwis peeled and cut into pieces. Put that into one cup of water, bring to a light simmer, then add one cup of sugar. You get this. <laughs> and it's very tasty. It's very tasty, but do not throw those kiwis out because now they have a really nice sweetness to them. They've kind of boiled down a little bit and this particular recipe calls for cucumbers and kiwi simple. We decided to back up the simple syrup a little bit just because, well, it's just gratuitous sugar. But by saving the kiwi pieces that you have in... Yeah, normally the recipe said just to muddle the cucumbers, but you're going to muddle the kiwis and, and the, cucumbers. the cucumbers. Yeah, Correct. And so what it does is it really kind of... You, you're not getting so much strong sugar. You're getting actually the really nice sugar from... The kiwis and the tart kiwis, which was interesting. Yeah, These kiwis they, are a little tart. They they started tart, but they really <laughs> end up really really nice. So you know, feel free to have some of those on top of your cereal the next morning, <laughs> or ice uh, cream, or ice cream, or whatever. So it's really there's not. I mean, it's really not a lot of ingredients. It's a very simple cocktail. It's a very very simple cocktail. Um, so we are going to start off with one half ounce of lime juice. Now a gimlet is normally basically just a gin lime, and lime and gin and lime. And what is the and history on that? It is actually was, uh, it was created by a rear admiral who was in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s to stave off scurvy on long ship voyages. <laughs> so just think, you won't get scurvy so, if you drink yeah, this. Yeah, so bonus, you won't get scurvy <laughs> if, you're, if you're drinking a lot of these. So one half ounce of lime, one, yep. one and a half of your kiwi. kiwi simple syrup. You are then going to dump that in there. We kind of played around with it a little bit and we kind of figured out that it's about four or five pieces of cucumber slices and then Few, few of those leftover kiwis that you right. made the so syrup you get, out of. So you get two or three of your slices of kiwi 
not a bunch of it, just two or three slices or whatever's left of them after they kind of boil down. And then the gin. And then we recommend, because this is calling for um, cucumber, Hendrix, um, if, you, if, you, if you're new, you know that uh, you you wouldn't know that we are huge gin fans, and this is the gold standard it is for the gin. Best. For us. Hendrix is the best Hendrix. But this Hendrix is infused with. It's actually distil, distillated with cucumbers and rose petals. So when you order one of these, it even tells you on the bottle. It tells you on the label. Do not put a lime with this. No. You will ruin it. Order it with a slice of cucumber and it totally changes the, the flavor of the gin. It brings out that cucumber. It makes it very bright and very refreshing. Brings it to so, your nose. Absolutely brings it right to your nose. So we recommend this because it is calling for cucumber. So why not do something that's already paired with it? If uh, you but you don't can use have pretty that? much you could pretty much use any other gin that you may be a fan of. So a Bombay Sapphire's Bombay fine. Bombay is fine. Okay. Yeah. Tangray. Tangray would be okay. But this this particular one Because is... Hendrix is a little bit pricier yeah. now, right? I, but... I, I remember when it was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it was bang for your buck. So now that you have all of your stuff in your tin, you are going to muddle. You don't have to really crush it up horribly because this is, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of ingredients in this. So you're really, really depending on your ice and your dilution of your ice. So if you are doing this with cubed ice, you might want to pre-crush it. so that or, you sh can, or shake it longer. Or shake it longer. Okay. But... With but the because pebble we, ice. Have, we have pebble ice. Best, best ice ever. At least a cup and a half of ice. At least. Mm -hmm. Which is definitely going to um, give you the dilution that you need that will then kind of level everything all out. And it also helps muddle everything. Yeah. We've done some fancy stuff with garnish this month. Yes. And because that has so much salad stuff in it, <laughs> um, we are going to double strain this. So how did you make the garnish there? You have the lovely... The little garnish here, what you do is, is use a carrot peeler on your... Vegetable peeler or mandolin. Vegetable or mandolin. peeler, mandolin. Yep. Down the length of a cucumber. Lay that in the glass. It will stick to the side. And hopefully. And then you're double straining? Double straining. So we're getting the big chunks out with this, and then it's a nice little mess strainer. Um, you can get these anywhere. And you double strain that just so that you don't wind up with. Again, I'm not Kiwi a huge seeds. fan of like, I don't <laughs> want to chew my cocktails. I would rather. <laughs> Sip them gently and not have to have stuff get stuck in my straw. Mm -hmm. And it's a really pretty, it's kind of, you can, yeah, you can see it on camera here, but it's a really pretty green, which I think goes with the, goes with the collection really, really well. It's, it's bright, it's light, it's very refreshing. So it, it definitely, to me, has a spring vibe which I really, really like. And it's very, very pretty. I could totally see sitting in the garden, sitting on a chair in by the garden, having one of these would be fabulous. Top with ice. And then we got super fancy with the garnish. Went crazy with the garnish. So we have a so lime. A lime. And a nice slice of cucumber. And then flower. Add a little daisy. A little daisy on top. And then a little daisy straw. Look at that. That is lovely. Isn't that beautiful? And that Check that is out. Is your cucumber kiwi gimel. Isn't that pretty? Look at the green of that. That is lovely. Alright, let me taste it. Mmm. Very, very, very good. You don't get like an, when you think cucumber in a drink, you're like, what? Yeah. 
but it's it's not. It's just very refreshing. And having the cucumber slice in there brings it to your nose. And having it on, on the garnish. Mm. The one thing is it's only two really, ounces really of nice. gin. Um, again, you can play with it at home. You want it a little sweeter, add a little more simple. You want it a little more boozy or you want to taste a little more gin because this is one thing that we both notice is that because of the flavors that are here with the amount of dilution and, and muddling things and all that kind of stuff, the gin really kind of falls away. You really don't get any kind of ginny. Yeah, you would have juniper-y. to be careful with that. You could like sip a couple of those and all of a sudden go, whoa, wait yeah, a minute. Yeah. Because the gin, the gin really, really kind of disappears in this one. So. You could also, now the other option is if you wanted to split that in half into two coupe glasses, right. would that work? You could you could do that in a very small dainty glass yeah you could probably split that because originally the recipe said two so yes if you did it in a couple so little if you did it in glasses, a pair of those you could do two out of you out of two. what we just did and that's yeah. literally one ounce of gin you know i mean it's it's easier to make it this way and then break it down <laughs> yeah. than it is to try like one quarter yeah. ounce of lime and one you know and you could play with the garnish with little edible flowers floating on top. You could; it would be very, Gardenia very pretty flowers. for a, a summer brunch or an Easter yep. brunch. Would be lovely. So, but yeah, so you can. We happen to use one of our bamboo glasses. Um, you can use um, one of the vintage uh, Tom Collins glasses. Yep, that would work um, as well. Or a coupe glass, if you really, if you really were want to, you could even go as far as putting that into a martini glass. Oh, which yeah. is going to make it really easy to put your garnish in there as far mm-hmm. as the, the, the cucumber curl. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Nice and easy. Um, it's just a little bit of prep work, but it's definitely worth that extra 45 minutes that you're going to spend in the kitchen cutting stuff up and making that making that simple syrup. is definitely, definitely worth, worth doing for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Excellent. thank you very much. Until next time, like, subscribe, comment. Tell a friend, if you like what you see, you see what you like, tell a friend. Hey everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy and I'm excited to dig in and share with you all of the pieces of this beautiful collection from the garden. It is filled with a lot of spring vibe and beautiful colors of green, beautiful, a beautiful palette of green, let me put it that way, which is actually my favorite color and all of the beautiful florals. It's just such a welcome sight after a long winter. So let's dig in, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start with the inserts. And we have, so we're gonna start with the ring bound or disc bound options that we have. And I have, have these here, I will show you. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but we'll kind of quick go through them. We have the classic vertical insert, which is um, kind of a, a happy planner size. It also works with our daisy planner. We have our A5, our B6, and our personal size. So let's just real quick, I'll show you kind of the differences of these. So the classic vertical insert does not have daily pages and it does not have a, um, because we assume a lot of you will put this in with some sort of spiral bound or disc bound, it does not come with a tab. So if you wanna add a tab, there are tabs in the main planner kit or of course you can, Always use your own or make your own. So you have the cover, the pretty artwork with the grid pattern. You have a calendar and it is so gorgeous. And then you have your weekly spreads and that is on a vertical. There is enough there for the whole month. And then that goes to a notes page. And then you have the pretty stripe pages with the list on both sides. This is perforated, which is super nice and handy. So if you wanna make a list and tear it out, you can. These come unpunched so that you can either add them to your spiral bound planner or a disc bound planner or whatever you wish to do with them. That is the classic vertical inserts. Now the 
The A5, B6, and Personal are basically the same. The only difference, of course, is gonna be the proportions. Uh, you have your stripe pages. You have your week on two pages. See if I can grab that. And you have your calendar. I can flip to that real quick. And of course, there's enough here for the whole month. There's your calendar, your plan forward, which is on the other side of the calendar, and then your daily pages. So that is, and of course, you can always get a close look at these if you go on the website and look them up. You'll get a look at the pages as well for the listings of the inserts. So you can always check them out there too. The B6, again, same idea. The only difference with the B6 is your weekly spread is vertical. So that is the only difference. Other than that, the dailies are basically the same. Again, it's just gonna be proportionate and calendar. And then the A5, so you have the cover. Again, the back, so pretty, all of those beautiful greens and because the A5 is a little larger, I'm gonna flip through this and you get it a little bit of an idea. And then you go to your week on two pages, the pretty grids, some more beautiful little quotes. And then we get to the calendar page. There's a notes page there. Then you have your calendar page. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty and then the plan forward, and then your daily pages. Your daily pages are meant to be a two-page spread. So you'll have this side with just the grid, and then you'll have this side that you can break down um, and divide up however you want, as far as sections, um, headers, and so on. So that is a look at the inserts. The A5, B6, and Personal, you can purchase these with a six-hole punch or unpunched. So those are the different versions you can get for those. And then we move on to our notebooks. We have a number of different notebooks. And remember, all of these inserts and notebooks can be purchased separately. You can subscribe to just one of the inserts or notebooks, or you can subscribe to the planner kit plus an insert or notebook. So we make it very easy. You can pick and choose exactly what you want. Let me go through the sizes real quick. You have an A5, a standard, and then in the standard size, we have the regular notebook and then we have our simple notebook. So this, <coughs> excuse me, is included in the Traveler's Notebook Kit but you can also purchase this with a planner kit or on its own. It is the same size, as I said, it's just kind of like a standard TN size. I will go through the difference on the interior in a moment. There's a B6, we have a Weeks, which is the same size as like a Hobonichi Weeks, and then we have our little mini. Now, aside from the simple booklet, all of these have the same inside. They're just, again, it's going to be proportionate. The mini does not have a calendar because it would be too mini. It would be too tiny. So that's the only difference there. The difference between the simple and these others and the standard is that the simple is structured um, more for memory keeping or journaling or using for collage pages because it will have a pattern paper on one side, um, maybe a page with a quote. It's just set up a little bit different than is, say, the notebook that has the calendar on the front. So this can be used for journaling, planning. I mean, you can really use them however you want. I would just say that this one is a little bit more on the structured size side of things. So I'm gonna go through and show you in the A5 what this looks like. I'm gonna also, um, if you want to see the entire inside of the simple booklet, check out the Traveler's Notebook portion of this unboxing and I'll go through that. 
but the A5, let me just show you. So again, the other ones are all structured the same way inside. There's a calendar on the front, and then you have enough weekly stripe pages for a whole month. You have just a lined section on the left, so pretty. And then you have the weekly stripes, so you can break that down. You can use, if you go to our um, fan page on Facebook, there is a ton of ideas that people always um, mention for using the stripe pages. It's a great breakdown for a lot of different things. Then you go into this portion of the booklet, and there is enough of these that you have one per day. So easy to use if you want to break this down into daily. You can you really can use this however you want, but um, you can break it down into one per day. I've actually been taking these uh, booklets apart and using these sheets for um, scrapbooking pages. So they'd be pretty if you like to do scrapbooking traditional with a photograph, if you like to do collage or art journaling. They make a perfect, almost like a piece of pattern paper. So that's what I've started doing with those. Make sure you check out my YouTube videos each month that I post with inspiration. But you can date these one per page and they are not structured at all. They have the great grid in them. You can label these, you can break them up. If you like to do bullet journaling, it's wide open. You can do whatever you want on these pages. And that's what we love about them. They're easy for you to customize and use however you deem fit. Makes it super, super versatile. But at the same time, if you are not in the mood to decorate a bunch of things, um, they're already beautiful. You don't have to decorate them. You can, of course, go as crazy as you want with as many layers as you want, um, but you don't have to because, like I said, they're already um, layered. So you just write out your to-do list, make your pretty journaling entry, whatever you want to do, and it's already done. And then look at that beautiful back. Isn't that pretty? So that is a look at all of the inserts that we offer using this month's collection, which is the From the Garden. So we've taken a look at the inserts. Let's dig into our first kit, and this is the planner kit. Now, as I mentioned with the inserts, you can purchase this planner kit on its own or with one of the inserts. So either way, whatever works for you, if you have, um, if you have your own system or your own inserts that you use or your own spiral bound or whatever it may be, this will work with that. But this also works um, for any kind of journaling as well. Um, any kind of, if you just like beautiful stationery, this is a great system. Great collection of items, I should say. It comes in its own handy dandy folder. We love that. And I'm gonna start off with the beautiful green washi tape. It's all of the foliage. There's a few little flowers in there, but it is mostly all of the beautiful greens. There is a, we did one of these in March. So, and there was, um, you all really liked this. So we brought back a green one. It is a mechanical pencil, but it is a colored pencil. And I love these because I like colored pencils the only problem is, is when you try and sharpen them for whatever reason, it you get to the point where it's sharp, it's wonderful, and then the lead falls out. Um, with the mechanical pencil, you do not have that problem. So I have a beautiful green in that. And then we have our pen, our lovely daisy pen. And it has this pretty design on it with the green crystals, the gold hardware, and then of course the daisy on top. And because of the design of this, and because it has this wonderful gel ink, um, that tends to go fast. So we do include a couple of um, uh, ink refills in here as well. So you get a couple of refills to go with your pen as well. 
Something new we have this month is this beautiful magnetic clip. Now we've done them before. You've seen those. In fact, I've got one right here um, like this, right? It has very, very strong magnet. So we've done those before. We wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more subtle. But this could be a bookmark. This could be, it's, it's got a really nice low profile, which I like. So you could easily use this as a bookmark, as a page marker. It is strong enough to attach, you know, if you want to um, have a little note or something that you're attaching to your page or you want to hold a couple pages together, you can do that with that. But isn't that pretty? It's the perfect color. I love it with this. It's a nice neutral. And then, um, like I said, so you can keep using that and using that. Also great bookmark. You get a set of sticky notes. So these are sticky notes. Get that. And let's page through the die cut stickers. because They're so pretty. So we have some butterflies. And then, of course, you have all of the great tabs. Pretty little plant shelf with the books. I like that. So it's a very serene, lovely kit. Of course, I love all of the greens and I love all of the plants, but there's a few other things in here that are just kind of homey and I think just really, really pretty. These are beautiful, aren't they? So you get, those are your die cuts. And remember they are stickers. So you can peel back the backing if you want to use them. You don't have to carry around adhesive. They're all set. So those are the die cuts. And then they have the tabs, obviously. And then you also get, this is one of my favorite notepads. You get a notepad and it has the ledger background with the, the beautiful florals over top. So you get that as well. You get a pen and um, ink or stamping ink, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna test those colors on here, you can. The front has the beautiful artwork with the quote. So for instance, if you were trying to match colors, and I can even just kind of show you the, um, the green. Isn't that pretty? So obviously depending on your pressure, isn't that a pretty green? So that's a good way to test ink colors or stamping ink, anything like that, and make sure that they match. You get a beautiful acrylic bookmark, which you can use with the sticky note pad if you want, or separately, it is entirely up to you. There is a, um, a plastic protective film on the back of this that you need to peel off, so remember to do that. You get, we haven't included one of these in a while, so I um, I added one into the mix. You get this, it's just a nice storage pocket. So the stickers will fit in here. Um, if you want to use this in, if you have a ring bound, you can punch holes through this and use it as a pocket that way. You can use it as storage. It's just a nice versatile, just kind of an extra little um, plastic pocket to have to keep things. It's just a nice, nice little addition to have. So you have that. We included something new and I just thought it would be fun. You know, tax season and springtime and all of that. Um, obviously with inflation and everything going on too, we're all really looking at our budgets. So I thought I would include some of these in there so you have some budget trackers. They're a nice size. They'll work with just about any system without being too big. Um, I, I had put them in my little plastic thing. I thought I would just keep them in my planner and punch some holes in there. They're not too heavy, so they're not as thick a weight as, um, say, the pattern, patterned paper. They're closer to the actual stock we use for our inserts. So they're a little teeny bit thicker than that, but they're um, not so, they're not gonna add a lot of bulk, I, I guess is what I'm basically trying to say. You get four of those. 
you get the sticker sheets. This one is um, decorative. And then you get this one with the, the dates. You get this one with the alpha and the numbers. Um, there's another tab on here. There's some fun icons as well. And then the pattern papers. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. It is gorgeous. It has a beautiful coral. And then I love this tone on tone green. And this one I think is so beautiful. I love the, um, the outline with the realistic and then the grid in the background, super pretty. That would be really pretty to wrap around a booklet or make a divider page out of. And then this really pretty green, which if you notice is the same pattern as the pen. And then we have a pretty blue with a little petite floral in there. So yes, there's a lot of green in here, but you can you can amp up kind of any of the other colors in the color palette if you want to, just by you know focusing in on the blues or there's some beautiful yellows in here or the corals as well. So that is an option as well. And that is a look at our planner kit. So I've shared the main planner with you and now I'm going to share the planner add-on. So this, of course, you don't need a planner to use this, that happens to be the name, but you can really use this for anything. If you like stickers and rub-ons and fun bits and baubles, then you would like this kit. Again, it goes with everything else, which is nice because regardless of the name of the particular kit, take a look at the contents and you'll see that um, it's basically one huge collection. And if you just kind of pick and choose what you enjoy receiving and what you like to use in your paper crafting or journaling or planning, this right here is what I'm super excited about this month. So I'm going to show you this first. I love when we're able to include a little tool or something once in a while. In April, in the Traveler's Notebook Kit, we had a, um, a notebook board, which was really, really fun. And these little guys are perfect. They will go handy in your Cocoa Daisy pouch. And these are scissors. So check this out. Look at that. So they're a little pair of scissors. And they cut pretty well too. I was I was like, oh, are they gonna be dull? They're not, they're a great pair of little scissors. So isn't that cute, super compact. You can just throw those in your pouch. You can have them with you, easy to take with you and um, just kind of have on the go, super compact. Isn't that fun? So you have a little pair of scissors. We have a beautiful floral washi tape. See, that's so pretty you get it's a regular size and then we also have a skinny and that's this one and it's kind of an ombre and then I don't know I'm going to try and kind of turn it so you can see it on camera it has a beautiful gold foil uh, stripe down the middle isn't that beautiful and that is just a nice little skinny size we have a set of die cut stickers and all of the beautiful artwork for this month. So you have your weekend banner, which is fun. Ah, I'm gonna lose some of these. There's some butterflies, some more of the beautiful florals. It's a couple of the butterflies. Some of these nice little mini tabs, I love these. So you can just use those for if you need to subdivide something or you want to mark something. They even work well if you're doing like a little collage or a journal page or something and you want to um, put in, uh, attach these to a photograph. They're fun to do that as well. You can put the date or you can put the, um, like a little caption if you want on those as well. So it's some more of the beautiful florals. Isn't that cute? the little um all the beautiful pictures of kind of garden little i'm trying to think like the <laughs> this 
happens to me every single time. I'm at a loss for like one particular word and it's a word I know, but crate. There we go. It's a crate of flowers. So you get that. Then we get, oh, and these guys are so cute. All right. So you get two little bird clips. So these are cute little bird clips that you can use. Aren't they adorable? So you get two of those. And then you get a couple of cards. Let me show you the cards first because there's also a four by six in here. And I love this one. I love the journaling or like the ledger paper behind it. Isn't that pretty? So that you get the four by six card and then you get three, three by four cards. They have the one that says today is the day. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers, plant your own garden and decorate your own soul. Isn't that beautiful? And then our little swatch card, which is nice if you're trying to match inks or uh, markers, colored pencils, anything like that. It works really well. And then some of these stickers. So you have just kind of your reminders. You have a beautiful decorative sheet. You have your alphas and your numbers, little icons. You have your days of the week and your flags. And then we have more stickers because you can never have too many. We have this great sheet of numbers and these are vellum. So they're a little bit see-through, they're super thin. We have a set of numbers as well. And then this, and I'm having a hard time getting this to show on camera. It's very subtle. So we've we've been playing around with glitter. We've, um, we've done some glitter ones the last couple months. These also have a teeny tiny touch of shine and glitter. They're raised a little bit, so they have a great feel to them. And it's really hard for me to get this on camera, but you'll see it um, when you get it. They have just a teeny bit of glitter in that kind of enamel finish on them, but they're super pretty. And for those of you who hate glitter, don't worry, nothing comes off. It's it's baked in there. <laughs> but so this is a really pretty sticker sheet with, um, it just has this really subtle kind of glaze on them. I guess maybe that's the best word for it. It's like it's a glaze. Oh, of course, a sheet of rub-ons. And one of the things you'll notice through this collection, if I haven't mentioned it already, is you're going to see some of the, of the the neat black and white, some of the black outlines of the florals. We've got some great black and white touches in here as well. And I love to do that when it works really well with a collection. So, and then two adhesive pockets. It says nothing is worth more than this day. That's the larger one and then the smaller one. And we did a little bit of a different opening on these, which I thought was fun. So it has just kind of a little um, little divot there or a little scallop going down. And then of course they are adhesive backed. So these are really fun to add into a journal or into a booklet or into your planner. That is a look at the planner add-on kit. Next we have the journaling kit. Now if you uh, love to journal or you use a hardbound planner or if you just don't like any sort of bulk um, in your planners or journaling, especially if you use, I think it's like the Hobonichi that comes bound and it has the very thin paper and you don't, you want to still use stickers, you want to still use rub-ons, but you don't want any of that bulk, then this is a perfect kit for that because everything in it is designed to be as thin as we can. And we include a fun, um, note card. It's always beautiful. So it says, when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment in which it grows, not the flowers. Isn't that pretty? And then on the other side, we have May journaling prompts. So we'll list 10 prompts to just kind of jumpstart you if you like to do listings, if you like to do journaling. Um, it's kind of fun to have those just kind of as a starting point, just kind of fun. And then of course you get the beautiful card as well. You will get a roll of assorted washi tape. Now I will preface this, this month only, with saying that the majority 
of these journaling kits will have this beautiful black and white washi. Um, but we're still gonna keep it assorted because there's a handful. We made some more and um, we'll have a different washi tape. Could be any of the washi tape from this month's collection, but the majority of them, I will say, will have this uh, black and white washi tape, which is really, really pretty. Like I said before, I like the adding the bits of black and white. So it's kind of the outline of the flowers. So you get a roll of washi tape. You get two rub-on sheets. Isn't that pretty? So you get just kind of some headers or reminders. There's the days of the week on there. You get the month there. And then just some more of the beautiful, beautiful florals. And then you get six sheets of stickers. And they include, you will get an alpha. And you will get, get these kind of in order. You get a set that has all of the days of the week, enough for the month, numbers. There's some kind of fun boxes. You get some washi strips here and some of the beautiful quotes, the fun just kind of watercolor. I love to layer those. You get some more washi strips. These are just purely decorative. And then you get two sheets of basically like sticker paper. So these again are still the vellum, so they're still really, really thin. Um, but you can see it's like an entire sheet. So you can cut this up and use it however you want. If you want to cut it in strips, if you want to cut it in squares, whatever you want to do with these, you can just kind of think of them as really thin sticker paper. So you get two sheets of those. And that is everything that is included in the journaling kit. This is the stationary kit. And the stationary kit is, is I, I have so much fun with this because I can, I love stationery, obviously. I own a company that has stationery items. <laughs> and I love this because it, it, it gives me kind of endless possibilities. You know, we've, we've done some things like in February, we had the cute little wooden block with the sayings for you to set on your desk. Um, we had the roll of stickers in March. It's it's really a lot of fun for me to be able to throw in some kind of different things that aren't necessarily um, just for a planner or for scrapbooking. They're just all of those fun, pretty things that we love to, you know, we can use on our desk. We can use in our journaling or in our scrapbooking or planning, but it's just, it gives me a lot more room to expand. So there is something new in here that I'm excited about. So you get a wipe off marker. Now we went with the medium point just cause I wasn't a hundred percent sure what everybody would like. I have tested this and it works with just about any kind of wipe off marker. So I'll explain in a moment what that is. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna show you the beautiful bow. We have a beautiful bow clip. There is a roll of washi tape and I think this is like absolutely one of my favorites, the black and white. I love the font, so, so cool. This is gonna go with everything and it's it's a little bit in the middle size wise as far as um width of washi tape it's not skinny it's not the regular the pretty little button and that says fresh and i'm definitely going to be pinning this if i can get this without making a mess i'm definitely going to be pinning this onto my pouch because it does have a pin back but you can take that you can pop that pin back off and use it with our magnetic clips if you want as well. So you always have that option, but I'm definitely gonna be putting that on my pouch because I think that's super cute. We have a nice set of sticky sticky notes and that says the daily check. So if you have um, a goal or if you're tracking anything, you can do that or just a regular to-do list. We have that. Then we have these little guys, these are new. And they're of vellum, 
I don't really think you'd want to write on these simply because of the design, but if you did, I would use more of like a Sharpie or a permanent marker because it is a little slick. But these are just nice little page flags. So if you want to, if you're reading something, if you're um, taking notes for class or if you're doing devotionals and you're uh, making a note in your Bible, anything like that, you could use these for just as little page markers in your planner if you want to refer back to a particular section. So we've included a set of these and I think they're a lot of fun. So I anticipate um, doing this again some more. I think this is really, really neat. I like those. And again, it's a beautiful green design. We have a set of die cut stickers. And in the stationery kit, I wanted to make them a little bit different. So we have a number of them that are these beautiful um, outlines. And so what I could see is, you know, some of our rub-ons and some of our stickers also, we have the beautiful watercolor bits. And I thought, how fun would it be to layer because these are actually vellum as well. So they're kind of see-through. So you can see that they're kind of see-through, see that? So how fun would these be to lay over top of some of the watercolor rub-ons or stickers? I just think that would be really, really pretty. Or you could, if you're doing um, an art journal page or a collage, you could watercolor or colored pencil a little bit of, of an area with some beautiful colors and ladies over top too. I think that would be really, really neat. So that's why we included some of those. Or you can just leave them the black and white. They're beautiful that way too. But I just thought it would be neat to be able to do that. More options, right? To be creative. I love that. There's some beautiful butterflies. And again, some more of just the outlines. Yeah, so I could totally see doing that. And I love that blue one, he's so pretty. So you get a full set of vellum die cut stickers. You get three sheets of regular stickers. So you get the decorative, you get the days of the week, and then another one with more decorative as well. You get, I'm gonna move this out of the way a minute because I will show you that. You get this beautiful sheet of vellum. I don't know if you can see that, it has gold foil on it. Isn't that pretty? So you get a sheet of that and then you get the pretty overlay with the green vines. And then you get, and this is kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna demonstrate on something. I did it in white because I just thought it was subtle and pretty. This is, and it, it has, I'm, I, have a t I have mine that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but it comes with a uh, plastic backing that you have to peel off. It's just a protective backing. It's a thicker acrylic. So this would work great as a dashboard in a planner or a divider page in a planner. You can use this with a clipboard or you can, you can put it in a ring binder or you can just set it next to your desk as a reminder as well. What is, this is meant for is, and that's why you have your dry erase marker, is you can write on here and then wipe off. So you can use this kind of every day. So I'm gonna set this one aside because that still has the plastic on the back. So I can just write on here, film, unboxings, and I have, I can make a whole list. I have that and then it will actually, if I grab my little bit of paper towel, that will rub right off. So you can use this over and over and over again. And it's so pretty. I, I liked it why I thought it would be really pretty to layer with um, a darker piece of pattern paper or on this stripe page. So you can do that and then, like I said, you can get just about any dry erase marker is going to work. Um, we included the medium point just kind of as an all over works for everybody kind of thing. And this will punch. If you have a heavy duty punch like a crocodile, a crop-a-dial, 
it will punch through this because it's not super, super thick. So it's not gonna also take up a lot of room, but um, it is sturdy enough to take some wear and tear with everyday use. So I thought that that was really fun to add in the kit. So I hope you're enjoying kind of what we're doing with the stationary kit and some of the new things that we're adding and trying. Um, make sure you leave a comment below if you're liking the stationary kit and the, the kind of different things that we're offering in it. For those of you that like to scrapbook or paper craft, um, do journaling, collaging, I'm seeing a lot of that out there, which is really fun, which is basically like a scrapbook page, but without a picture. You're just enjoying the process of creating, which I love that. That works really, really well with both kits, but it works really well with our Traveler's Notebook kit because this includes a booklet. So super easy for you to do that. It's all set. I always like to say with this kit that you have everything you need to finish an entire booklet or mini album or journal because basically what you need, you need some ink, an acrylic block for your stamps, a pen, uh, if you get our planner add-on, you've got the great little compact scissors, so you could throw those in there, easy travel, and some adhesive, and that's it, right? Then you're done. You have everything, and there's plenty of enough goodies in here to fill up this whole booklet. I'm going to actually start by showing you the booklet. So this is our simple notebook, and if you don't like the craft cover you could take that off and just use this as the cover it's beautiful it wraps around the design does i love that you could uh, label this booklet whether it's with the month special event or whatever your heart desires and then as you page through you see it's pretty consistent there's some pages you can add whatever you want there's a couple pages where it is kind of like a, a full two page spread. The majority of them are laid out with a pattern and then either a dot grid, a grid, or lines. That is the way the majority of the pages are. We do usually add a quote or two in here. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Love the ledger paper too. That's one of the pattern papers. That little burst of blue is so pretty. This is pretty too. I love this one. I love the mix of the outlines with the other ones. And I want this fabric. I want this made into a fabric. It looks like fabric. I wish I had that fabric. I think it's beautiful. So it's so many pretty, pretty things in here. Of course, the, the garden themes and the travel themes are always, always my favorite because those are two of my big, big, big passions. I, if I could just sit and work in the garden all day, I would, I would be so happy. So you get the booklet. You get a roll of washi tape. It's kind of a, it's, it's got a scallop design. It's kind of a tone on tone green. It's very pretty that you get a set of these are just kind of thrown in here because I was I was looking at them I have to make my every month I do a couple of videos using the modern memory keeping kit and the travelers notebook kit um, giving you some ideas and inspiration and I talk through kind of the design process um, just tips and tricks some fun stuff so check out those videos so this is kind of haphazard in here because I was and some of it's unpackaged because I was going through and figuring out what I want to do. So you get four of these die cut vellum circles and I, I'm going to try and see if I can get you get that on camera, but it's a gold foil. Isn't that pretty? It says beautiful spring day, a day in the life or another perfect moment. So depending on if you only have part of these show, you can pick what part of that you want to be highlighted. So you get four of those. And then you get a beautiful stamp set and it has the, um, the circle with the saying, 
same as on our circle there. So good for layering and making a whole cohesive look. It's what we love to do. Today is the day and then just some beautiful of those outline florals. So make sure another video that I do every month is a stamping video where I stamp these and I give you some ideas on how to layer them. And I will also show you this month, we have an a la carte set and this is beautiful. These stamp sets are, they're all, the outline, the detail on these, this is one that I was playing with. They're absolutely gorgeous. I just, I ended up stamping most of them just in black ink because they're so beautiful. The, this stamp set is included with this kit. This one is not included in any kit. This is an a la carte stamp set. If you are a subscriber, you get first dibs at this and you will be able to order it um, via your portal. You can add it to your cart and it will ship with your kits, okay? So you will order this like an add-on. But again, this is not in any kit. You have to order this separately if you want to get it. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, think of um, Mother's Day cards. Oh, beautiful Mother's Day cards birthday cards, tags uh, for gifts, so, so pretty. If you have a garden where you grow any fruits or vegetables, how pretty would this be on a tag with the little enjoy um, on, a, on a gift basket of fresh um, veggies? How fun would that be? Or a bouquet of flowers, so pretty. Anyway, I'm gushing, but the wait till you see them stamped. They're just absolutely beautiful. And they're larger too. We did that this month. We went larger stamps, which I'm thrilled with. A set of the glitter dots, which we always love those, right? And this month we went back to the oversized tags. You get three of those. We have a beautiful spring day is the best kind of therapy. The world is a garden. And then um, this one where you could add whatever you wanted in the middle of that one. You get a sheet of chipboard circles. Part of the reason we went with the circles is you can use them with these die cut circles and you can also use them with the circle stamp. So again, creating that whole easeability for cohesiveness and design. So these will fit in there. You could do a whole border with a whole bunch of different circles and sizes it would be super pretty. Uh, let me show you the die cut stickers as well. These have some of the outlines in them. So they will go beautiful with the stamp set as well. So you have all the sunshine, springtime, some of the cute little arrows. Some of these are just the black and white. If you wanted to color those in, with watercolor or colored pencil. Colored pencil would be really pretty. Isn't that beautiful? A couple little butterflies. We have in the garden, in full bloom. Oh, so pretty. And then the nice little ampersand there and some of the leaves. These would be really pretty just tucked behind a photograph. So you get all of those as well. You get a sheet of rub-ons. Plenty, plenty in here to create an entire booklet. You get a sheet of puffy alpha stickers and they're just kind of a nice smaller size. I, I wanna say that this is a grayish. It's not quite beige, it's not quite gray. It's kind of in between and very, very pretty with the greens. And then you get six sheets of pattern paper, two of each design. And there's my one that I want as fabric. <laughs> so pretty. And then love the ledger. And then the pretty stripe. So that is everything that you get in the Traveler's Notebook Kit. Let's take a look at the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. As I adjust my chair. Hold on. Sorry. I can scooch forward here. So this is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And the Modern Memory Keeping Kit 
can be used for absolutely any kind of scrapbooking or paper crafting, uh, journaling, card making. I've been having so much fun making cards lately. And I have to say, I've had a couple birthdays where I was like, oh, I need a card. And I had already made some and they were perfect. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep making cards because especially with this kit, with the note cards, it makes it super, super easy to make cards. But you can also make beautiful little mini albums. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? I'll mention it now. The Traveler's Notebook. So I usually um, make sure you check out the YouTube videos that I create with inspiration for uh, these two kits. I always do a couple layouts with the um, Modern Memory Keeping Kit. I've been doing cards, like I said. I'm actually with the Traveler's Notebook. I forgot to mention this. I am going to make this into a garden journal. So make sure you check out the video when I get it posted. I'm going to make this a gardening journal and I can't wait to do that. So I forgot to mention that. This is, and it stuck to, so I'm going to pull this out so you can see it a little bit. That is the stamp set this month. And like I mentioned in the Traveler's Notebook uh, portion of this unboxing, there is an, a, a la carte stamp set that works with it. And this you have to purchase separately. So I'm just repeating myself for those that skip to specific unboxings. I wanted to make sure that if you're a subscriber, you know you get first dibs on this. It is not included in any kit, but you will be able to add it to your um, to your box, to your order via your subscriber portal during early ordering. If there are any left after subscribers have had their go at them, they will be listed on the first of the month. But the stamp set, absolutely beautiful. So make sure you check out my stamping video and I go through and I show you how to do that. But the detail on these are just gorgeous. So you get the stamp set. And then let's go through real quick all of the note cards. So you get four, four by six, and they are double-sided. And then this one is so pretty. If you look down in the bottom, it says, I just know that something good is gonna happen. And I think that's very, very pretty. I love that little, Jamie did that. It's such a pretty little addition. And then you have the stripe little by little. I could see totally adding some of the flowers to that. The May calendar, and then just some more pretty florals that you can use there. Those are the four by six. And then you get 24 of these gorgeous heavyweight note cards, and they are double-sided as well. So I'm just gonna quick go through. The reason that this has, um, the calendar on both, one has a Monday start, one has a Sunday start. And then all of, I love this color combo, so pretty. So just some quotes, some are decorative, some are left open for you to journal things in them if you want to. But all of these together would make a great little mini album, which I've done before. You just do a ring or you cut them all to look like a tag and you layer them in with patterned paper. So fun, love that one. The watering can. So there's a lot of green in this collection, but there's also a lot of other beautiful colors as well. It's not just a green collection. And with all of our color palettes, if you're like, let's say you're not a big green person, you can always highlight or pull out some of the other colors that are in here. There's the pretty coral, there's some of the yellows, there's some blues in there that you could bring out as well. So that is a look at all of the pocket cards that are in this kit. And then we have some die cut stickers as well. Go through those. So these do have an adhesive back. You just have to peel it off. Lots of fun 
pretty florals. So you just have to peel the backing off and they are stickers. But if you like to use, like I do on some of them, a little bit of foam adhesive to raise them up. Sometimes when I layer things, you just leave the backing on and they're fine. You can use them that way as well. So you have the option, which is always nice. A little garden love. Look at these beautiful outline florals. I'm just in love with those. I really am. <laughs> So I think I like just um, this doing the stamps in just black, I think, or just black with a little bit of color. It's so pretty. Um, some more, some of my favorite things. There's some beautiful butterflies in here as well. And then some more of the black and white. You get a sticker sheet of very versatile label stickers. And then these are designed to work in our daisy planner, the columns. I believe they will also work in a happy planner, but you can just use them as decorative um, sticker strips. You can cut those up, you can use part of them. You could use this on a layout um, for part of the journaling or on one of the note cards as well. And then, aren't these beautiful? They're big, but I think they're gorgeous. I would use, I would use some glue dots to adhere these or um, even white glue will usually work. Aren't they beautiful? They're a, an, an engraved wood. We went larger with them and I just love how they turned out. We did the larger ones in March too with the Big Sky collection and I think they turned out beautiful. So you get all of those, beautiful, beautiful. You get a set of the die cut vellum circles with the gold foil on them. You get four of these. So if you can see, you get four of those. And they have the, like I said, the foil. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not, but you get four of those. These, I always, I always like to attach these. If part of it's gonna be hidden under something, you can just use whatever adhesive you like. Otherwise, I like to staple these on a page. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, the beautiful glitter dots. You have a dark charcoal, gray, almost black alpha. And then you get a sheet of chipboard with all of the circles, which works really well with those. And then a sheet of rub-ons. Aren't those beautiful? sheet of rub-ons and then you get six sheets of double-sided paper that you can cut up and use any way that you want so pretty that one and that has the yellow and then the floral on there so that is a look at all of the bits and pieces plenty plenty to do any kind of scrapbooking or paper crafting you know do your uh, journaling or paper or um, scrapbooking. And then with the leftovers, it's fun to make your cards because you'll have little bits and pieces and you can throw together easily four or five cards with just the leftovers from all of this after you do some other project. All right, I'm gonna give you a peek at our 12 by 12 pattern paper, our dashboards, our a la carte stamp set again, <laughs> and the beautiful pouch. And then we will round things out um, with our unboxing with our stickers. So first up, the 12 by 12 papers, which are so yummy. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say that. They're just beautiful. They're so, so beautiful. Our paperweight is a wonderful heavy paperweight. The 12 by 12 papers, you can purchase these. You can subscribe to just the 12 by 12 papers or you can subscribe to them in the scrapbooking kit. If you purchase the scrapbooking kit, you get 12 sheets of pattern paper. That's a lot of paper. And um, all the other goodies or if you just if you get the Modern Memory Keeping Kit or the Traveler's Notebook or actually any of the other, other kits and you just, you love pattern paper, 
you can subscribe to just the patterned paper. So you get six, you get 12 sheets, you get two of each of six double-sided designs. So let me go through, these are all not matched up. They're just kind of here and there, but we'll go through them. I'll make sure you see all of them. You have the beautiful floral. And then you have this, which has the stitching and it looks kind of like fabric. I love that one. How pretty is that? I love that mix. And then you have this, which is just another beautiful floral. And then you have this kind of pretty mint color with just a nice tone on tone design. This one we've picked up the blues. This one we've picked up the coral, kind of that peachy pink, so pretty. And this ledger, which is one of my absolute favorites. I always love having a ledger paper. Makes me happy. And this is the one I talked about in the Traveler's Notebook. Um, we have a smaller version of this. I want this as a fabric. I think this is so pretty. It is really, really pretty as a fabric. And then the little petite yellow floral, kind of a green vine, isn't that pretty? And then the beautiful stripe. So of course, I mean, you look at how easily you can already pair all of these together. Isn't that beautiful? That's what I love is the different combinations that you can make with all of these. There's so many different ways that you can group these and use these. Like this one with this one. How pretty is that? You can do that and that in the stripe or that and that with that one. It's so pretty. So lots and lots of options, but that is a look at all of the 12 by 12 papers. And I will mention this one more time. We have the a la carte stamp set. This is not included in any kit. You have to purchase it separately. And it has this, which is the same that we have on our pouch. And I went with the pretty pink tassel. We went with the natural canvas for this one. And on this side, you have just this beautiful drawing. And I love that. Sometimes simple, I think, is so elegant. And then on the other side, we did go with the pretty little garden scene and a little dragonfly. So you could go either side with this, but I have to say I love this. I think that's just so pretty. So there is the pouch. The pouch, you can subscribe to that. That is not included in any kit. That is a separate subscription. If um, we do have any leftover, then we will put them in the store. And you, would, uh, if you're a subscriber, you'd be able to um, try and grab any leftovers first if you don't subscribe to it already. The dashboards. The dashboards come with two sets. You get the A5 and the personal size. Um, they are the same designs, just scaled down. You get both of those. I like to use both of these in my planner. Um, I've seen a lot of people using them just as beautiful um, stationary, almost you could frame these and put them in your office or your craft area. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, they are little works of art, so I think you could totally do that. Some of them I will cut down and turn into um, bookmarks as well. So if you're a reader or you want to use it in your planner, you can do that too. So there's that one. This one is fun because you can add your own quote or saying or layer something on there, which would be neat. You have this one. See, now again, you could cut this down the middle and turn that into two bookmarks or two um, oversized tags if you wanted to. And then a life of adventure is a life well lived with the floral. It is no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. Isn't that pretty? I love, I love the way the floral lays on that um, ledger paper. It's so pretty. And then this one, again, the simplicity of it is I, absolutely beautiful. I love that. That's my kind of jam right there. And then, of course, we have the same in the personal size. So that is a look at the dashboards. Next up, let's round this all out with a look at all of the sticker sets. We have a ton of them. That's a whole lot of stickers right there. <laughs>
And I've already been going through these because I've been taking pictures and stuff. So you're gonna have to bear with me as I kind of try to make sure I grab all of the right ones for each set. So these are all part of the Bible journaling sticker kit. So if you have a journaling Bible um, or you do just um, devotionals or anything like that, you can use these. Or if you just like to add a little bit of that to your planner or if you have a gratitude journal, anything like that, these would work really well for. So you have some of the verses on there and some of the beautiful sayings. There's a little bit of watercolor and some washi strips. There is an alpha, some decorative, some of the beautiful words and phrases, some of the little boxes for notes, some of the circles for notes. And then of course there's some numbers and some more of the um, sticker strips too. So all in the beautiful patterns. That is part of the Bible journaling sticker kit. And then next up we have the planner sticker kit. And this comes with a set of vellum dots. So you get a set of the vellum dots. You get the boxes. And then you get some of the trackers and then the, um, the smaller trackers. There's dates. There's your hydrate um, trackers and then just kind of some reminders. Some decorative, some of the beautiful washi strips and the watercolor bits. And then you get your fun reminders, some of your headers. There's your weather. And then the hexagons are always fun to layer as well. That is the planner sticker kit. And then the classic cousin sticker kit. Make sure I've got all of these. These work really, really well with the classic Hobonichi. And you've got some of your reminders, some of your trackers, some of your boxes some of the decorative and the little word phrase. You have all of the days of the week, some of your fun icons, a nice alpha and dates and um, some sticker strips, and then your vellum sheet, again with some of the watercolor and some of the pretty quotes on there too. That is the Classic Cousin sticker kit. Are you Hobonichi? What did I say? Now I think I said the wrong thing. If you have a Hobonichi cousin, is that right? I don't use one, but <laughs> I, I some of my designers and that use them. So I think I got that right. I hope I'm correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Point it out. Tell me if I'm wrong, and correct me on that one. So the Daisy add-on sticker kit. This will work with anything. Any, 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 any. If you just like stickers, right? There's some beautiful decorative ones, some of the phrases, a really nice, um, simple graphic alpha, love that. And then some of the boxes, these are great for layering, um, writing little notes in or headers. And then our vellum sheet, and it has the quotes and it has some of the washi strips as well. That is the Daisy add-on sticker kit. And then we have the calendar, and this works with the Hobonichi Weeks, and it has, um, for the calendar page, it has everything you would need for the calendar page, and probably a little bit more, really. Um, it has the dates, and it has the pretty header. That is the calendar sticker kit, the Daisy Weeks sticker kit, now this will work with um, our weeks booklet or again, a Hobonichi weeks as well. You have all of the days of the week, you have icons, you have the other headers on there, you have some decorative, some of the boxes, and then the vellum sheet, which we each, I think just about every single kit, sticker kit has a vellum sheet. You have dates, some watercolor bits, and some of the pretty sayings on there. That is the Daisy Weeks sticker kit. And our sticker kits, um, 
we do a lot of times end up selling out. I try to always have some extras on hand, but we have been selling out of these. I, if, if you are on the fence, I would sign up for it as a subscription. That's the only way you're going to be guaranteed to get one. You don't have to worry about if they get sold out. The memory keeping sticker kit, this works for any kind of memory keeping, memory planning, journaling. Again, this is one of those that's just super versatile. This is the little vellum sheet. I like to use these to layer for um, headers or titles on layouts or in my in my um, daisy planner where I do my, my scrapbooking. Um, I love to use those with an alpha. So I love to layer those with an alpha and create a header or a title. So you get this beautiful alpha in there as well, your vellum sheet, a bunch of the beautiful decorative, the dates, some of the fun word stickers, some of the boxes and the labels, and then some more boxes in there as well. And that is the memory keeping sticker kit. That is everything. That is all of it. That is a huge collection and it is a beautiful collection. Obviously one of always one of my favorites because it has the garden theme and the florals in it. Make sure you leave a comment, hit subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure you share our videos with friends. It's a great way to promote Coco Daisy. And I love to read your comments and respond to them. If you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see, please leave it below. And thank you all very, very much. Have a wonderful, fabulous spring.